Okay, well, unfortunately, we just botched the attempt of doing a, an unpacking video for this package, and we realized partway through that it, for some reason, inexplicably stopped recording. So we're trying to do the tail end of it now. Um, this is a package I got from Sleepy Brown Joseph, who uh, contacted me via YouTube and told me to shoot him an email because he had something I might be interested in. And I have to be honest, at this point in the summer, I'm kind of uh, trying to lay off of buying tarantulas for a bit until I get rid of some of my doubles. Had no intention of buying anything. But he hit me with something that I couldn't refuse. He had some Cyclocosmia truncata, which are the ravine trapdoor spiders, which I had actually been admiring for several years. Um, it's an actual spider, not a tarantula. And um, he offered them to me for a fantastic price. He also threw in an H. Villicella, which is great because I had one of those years ago that uh, ended up dying as a sling. I always planned on getting another one. So we shipped them out. Unfortunately, everything was packed very well. We have the ice pack here because it did get hot. And luckily, we had the ice pack because it was supposed to be 83 degrees today, and now they're saying 95. So I ended up just chasing down my mailman because it was also it was supposed to be held. Um, and... I ended up finding out it was at the post office. So everything's here, arrived safe and sound, and everything's looking good. He even threw in some hissers, which is great. G. Alongadas, um, two H, uh, one H. Vosella, two C. Truncatas. Can't wait to open those up. I'll be doing a housing video in a little bit. And you can see they're all packed really well. They were in a box with the ice. They had all the packing. These guys were not, they were uh, packed very, very well. There's the Alongada, and then Truncata is in here. I've looked very forward to putting those in their new home. So we'll do this one in a minute, but very excited about these. And this is kind of be a new one for me because all I have right now in my collection is two snakes and a lot of tarantulas. So this will be branching out into true spiders and uh, eventually I'll be getting some scorps and probably millipedes, but start slowly. So anyway, great purchase overall. I'll open these up, rehouse them in a minute, and we'll get video of that as well. Okay, so our third attempt to do a quick video of the rehousing of the C truncolata. Um, you can see it right, Ron, if you zoom in on it and then try to click, you can see the abdominal pattern. It's just amazing. Can you see it? You have the light on? Apparently you have the light on. But I'm going to go ahead and try to rehouse these right now. This is our third attempt because I keep screwing up and I might have sworn in the last one. Badly. <laughs> Oh, they move quickly. So I'm going to use some of this. Looks like uh, cocoa, which will be good because it holds water. Give you nice moist up top. You see, okay? Yeah. Feel free to readjust if you need to. I've been obsessed with these guys for like two years. There's a little butt plug in his hole. Yeah, you just as needed. I can't really look, so. Now this is what they do defensively in the wild. They use those little butts, they have spines on them, and they basically go down the hole and block their holes up. I should have brought a spoon on this one. Now what I'm hoping will happen is this thing will adopt the pre-dug burrow I got for us so we can see it on the side. I'm making a 
hard for me to record. There he is. There he is. You see him? Yep. Before he completely buries himself or herself. Oh, there he goes. I'm gonna try to steer it right to the. There we go. Perfect. Boom. All right, so he's in his new hole. Um, again, I keep a lot of tarantulas. This is a new one because it's a spider. You can see the little booty right down there. I'm going to try to zoom in. There it is. I've got the camera right now. Bro, if you want to see this, you can see the butt really well. Now, this is a trapdoor species, so it'll probably cover this over. And hopefully, it'll catch some trapdoor action. But they have absolutely fascinated me from the first time I saw them. I honestly, I saw a picture of one a couple of years ago. I was searching something online. It came up, and I thought it was some kind of costume jewelry. I didn't realize it was actually a real animal. So... There we go, all rehoused. I'll go ahead and house the second one, but uh, I'll be keeping updates on these guys because this is a new thing for me and I find them very fascinating and uh, hopefully you guys will too. Here's the second sea trunk out. Let me see if I can get a uh, beetle that's abdomen in here. And apparently my phone's not cooperating with me today. <laughs> There we go. And you can see the cryptic pattern on the abdomen. Love the shiny body. I just love the looks of that. Is the light on? There we go. Sorry for the quality of this, but we're working with a much smaller spider than my tarantula, so it's taking some getting used to. And then you can see the abdomen pattern is just insane. I absolutely love these things. This is definitely the bigger of the two. So there we go. I'm going to let this guy go ahead and burrow. Gorgeous.